We have two serious problems on our college campuses. Number one, parking. Number two, on-campus assaults. What if I told you that these two things actually relate to each other and I have the ability to alleviate the severity of both? My name is Kinsey Buter and I'm the founder and CEO of ParkU, a technology firm which allows students to access a bird's eye view of the parking lots throughout campus from a smartphone application. According to a 2010 FBI report, 27% of on-campus assaults have it happen in parking lots and parking garages. Um, the number of reported assaults have increased since then. In fact, I know a student who was assaulted um, in one of UTC's campuses one month ago, or parking lots one month ago. Um, in April of this year, our school's parking committee determined that students' top two concerns in relation to parking are safety and convenience. Did you know that it can take up to 30 to 45 minutes to find parking on campus, um, making students late for class or causing them to miss class entirely sometimes? According to economics professor David Romer, this sporadic class attendance can cause students' grades to drop an entire letter. So here's how ParkU works. We put security cameras in every lot on campus. Students can then, through the app, access a live feed of any lot at any point in time. So say it's 9.45, I have a 10 o'clock class and I've just arrived on campus. I can pull over, see where there are available spots, and, uh, uh, sorry, proceed to that lot. I don't have to desperately circle lots for 30 minutes. But here's the best part. The different components of the necessary technology already exist, and universities are an untapped market. So this has the potential to grow rapidly and exponentially because once we're in universities, we target malls, then airports, then large cities, all places facing the same two problems. It would cost a university of this size with 42 lots and three garages approximately $275,000 um, to purchase the technology. But to put that in perspective, for the same university to build a new lot, it costs $26,000 per spot, valuing a lot of 100 spaces at $2.6 million. I have five younger siblings, and I don't want them to go to a school Both where time. they don't feel safe and comfortable, so that's why I developed Park U. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you, my question is going to be to repeat those numbers in terms of what it's going to cost the university and how you're going to earn your revenue on that. Yes. Okay. So my personal startup cost for the app is $100,000 approximately to develop the app, but I have ways that I can save money on that. Uh -huh. $120,000 for accounting, legal fees, uh -huh. and then I budgeted $30,000 $30, for marketing and traveling to other universities, and uh, that includes website and brochures and that kind of thing. Uh -huh. So that makes my startup cost about $250,000, uh -huh. um, and that money I will make back through licensing the app to the university. Is it, um, I'm hoping to charge a dollar per student which can be tacked onto the parking pass that you pay for at the beginning of the year um, and that's an annual fee and so they have access to the app for that year and then the university would pay for the security cameras I'm simply a, li a liaison for that um, so it's $275,000 approximately it really depends on a lot of different things but that would be the highest that it would cost for um, a university this size um, and like I said, it costs $2.6 million to build a new lot, so they have the ability to get that funding from somewhere. Um, and so, yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of where mm -hmm. I am right now. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I didn't hear you talk about the technology that has to be in place on the campus, in the parking areas, like cameras. Yes, okay, so we have 42 lots and three parking garages, and right now we do have security cameras in the parking garages, so hopefully that would cut down on cost at least. Most universities have security cameras in their parking garages, so that would cut down on cost because hopefully we can just access the feed from those cameras already in place. Um, but we would have to put security cameras in each of the other lots, and it would take about four cameras on average per lot. It really depends on the size of the camera that you want to purchase. Mm -hmm. It depends on how easy it is to wire those cameras, um, because some are really easy to wire, and they're a lot cheaper. It depends on where the parking lot is located. Some you have to actually put the pole in and put the security camera on top, and so it's a little bit more difficult. But you're looking at a maximum of $5,000 per lot. Per lot. Yes. Um, can you walk me through kind of how the app would exactly work? So if I'm using it, how do I log in? How does all of that? Yeah, I actually have a prototype. Would it be okay if I showed you really quick? It's pulled up on my laptop. Is that in a minute? Go for it. Okay. <laughs> okay, so say this is your app. You would touch the screen. Let's say you want to create a new account. You're a new student. You enter all your information and hit create the account. 
So our school code would be UTC 123. Let's just pretend you get your school code with, um, sorry, I just can't seem to type it in. Um, you get your school code when you buy your parking pass. Um, and so then you hit next. And okay, so ideally right now, this is very rudimentary, but um, you have a campus map, you can see the list of general lots, list of reserved lots, or you can pay your parking pass through the app, or parking ticket, sorry, <laughs> if you're unfortunate enough to get one. Um, so you click on the campus map, and this is just my favorite one. Um, and let's say you wanna go to lot 30. So you click on it, and it pulls up a live feed, and again, it's a bird's eye view of that lot. That's so. very cool. Good. Well, can I nice. ask the audience a question? Students. <laughs> Would you pay more than a dollar for this app? Probably. I'm just wondering if she shouldn't charge a little more for the university. It's worth it, huh? Oh, yeah. yeah. I'm paying a lot more. <laughs> Good job. Good job. So you have campus map, reserved lots, that, these are lists, the reserved lots and the general lots and um, obviously that's a way you can easily pay your parking ticket. Um, but this is my favorite feature because you can actually see the map. Um, so blue is reserved and yellow is general. Um, so let's say I want to go to lot 30, click on it and then it pulls it up. That's the live feed. And then um, the emergency button actually is synced to the blue lights that we have on campus so it contacts campus dispatch. Oh.